hello friends welcome to my channel this is Charan in this video I will show you in ASP.NET using stored procedures how to search records with a drop down list and display records in a grid view control and here we got the final output I'm selecting the employee name from the drop down list Charan see here we got the employee name Charan details in the grid view control Samantha that's it if you are a first time visitor to my channel please subscribe to get the latest updates for this video tutorial I am creating a new ASP.NET project go to file new project and from the web templates I am choosing ASP.NET web application and the .NET framework is 4.6.1 the application name I am giving search drop down grid view with store procedures ok and from the ASP.NET templates I am choosing empty ok and the project is successfully created now I am adding a new web form page to this project open solution explorer right click the project name add new item I am selecting web form search dot aspx add and here we got the source page of this search dot aspx page now between the form and due tag I am adding center tag h1 search records from database with drop down list and bind data into grid view control horizontal line after the horizontal line I am adding two controls one is a drop down list control and the second control is a grid view control open toolbox I am expanding the standard folder the drop down list control I am adding that one break and the second control is a grid view control open toolbox I am expanding the data folder it's a grid view that's it we have done a simple designing part adding one header tag one drop down list control and one grid view control now my aim is I want to display the drop down list control using stored procedure now before writing the coding part first we'll open my SQL server database we'll write the stored procedures for this demo purpose I'm using the simple table reg emp which contains three columns and two rows now let's create a store procedure for this table to bind the data into a drop down list control come to the bottom notice there is a programmability folder expand that one store procedures right click new store procedure I'm adding the procedure name bind drop down I'm not adding any parameters and the select statement is select the column names are EMP ID comma I want to bind EMP name from the table name dbo.regemp table and paste here that's it let's create this stored procedure execute and here we got the message command completed successfully 
Uh, let's create another stored procedure. When we select the particular employer record from a drop down list control, I want to display that employer record details into a grid view control. Again, go to stored procedures, right click that one, new stored procedure. And create procedure, the procedure name is grid view bind is a procedure name. I'm adding the parameter at the table name EMP ID, which is an integer data type. And the select statement select start from the table name is dbo dot emp copy that one and paste here where I'm searching the records with the help of emp IDs is equals to at I'm adding this parameter emp ID. That's it. Let's create this stored procedure. Execute. And we got a message again. Command completed successfully. Now the leftover is the coding part. Let's switch back to the Visual Studio. Right click the source page. View code. First I'm adding the namespaces. Using system dot data using system dot configuration using system dot data dot SQL client after adding these three namespaces now I need to add the data source connection string in the web.config file open server explorer right click the data connections add connection the server name of SQL server After adding the server name, I'm selecting the database name sample db test connection is succeeded. Okay, okay. And notice here under data connections, we got the sample db or dot db or is added. We need the data source of this sample db. Right click that one, go to properties. The third option connection string copy the whole data source part. Open solution explorer web.config file. Open that one. Now inside the configuration, I'm adding connection strings. Add name is equals to I'm adding my connection string name, which is my connection. Connection string. I'm adding the data source and the last property I'm adding the provider name which is system dot data dot SQL client after adding the connection string in the web.config file switch to the code behind let's bind the drop down list with the help of stored procedure string main con is equals to configuration manager dot connection strings between double quotes I'm adding the connection string name which is my connection copy that one and paste here dot connection string SQL connection SQL con is equals to new SQL connection which takes this main connection variable SQL command SQL com is equals to new SQL command SQL command dot connection is equals to SQL connection now the next step I'm adding the stored procedure name SQL com dot command type is equals to command type dot store procedure SQL com dot command text 
command text I am adding my store procedure name between double quotes. The store procedure first I want to bind the drop down list control bind dd let's open SQL connection SQL con that will open method drop down list dot data text field is equals to the data text field is emp name copy that one and paste here drop down list one dot data value field is equals to emp id drop down list dot data source is equals to SQL com dot execute reader method drop down list one dot data bind method and now I'm adding the default text header for the drop down list drop down list dot items dot insert which takes two parameters the index value zero which means the starting drop down list value new list item between double quotes select emp employee the last one i'm closing the connection string close method let's put this code if not page dot is post back I'm adding that closing bracket after the connection string after the close method that's it we have done the coding part to bind the employee name details into a drop down list control let's check the output Google Chrome And here we got the output of that code. The employee details AMP name is binded to the drop down list control. Now, my second target is when I choose a particular employee name from this drop down list control, I want to get that employee details into a grid view control. Let's write the coding part. Stop debugging. Switch to the source page, design page, select the drop down list control, double click that one, it will generate the selected indexed changed event of the drop down list control. Now instead of writing the whole code, what I am doing, up to here, I am pasting here. The store procedure name for the grid view data, grid view bind, copy that one, paste here. SQL command dot parameters dot add with value. The add with value takes two parameters. One is the parameter name, and the second one is the object value between double quotes comma the second one is the object value here our object is a drop down list control drop down list one dot selected item dot value now I'm adding the SQL data adapter data adapter sg is equals to new sql data adapter which takes a parameter of this sql command come semicolon 
data table dt is equals to new data table as you dot fill i'm filling with the data table now i'll bind the data to a grid view control grid view one dot data source is equals to dt grid view one dot data bind method the final one I'm closing the connection string close method that's it we have done the complete coding part but we need to add one important go to search.aspx and the drop down list control make this auto post back is equals to true let's check the final results in the browser Google Chrome and here we got the final output and selecting the employee name from the drop down list Charan see here we got the employee name Charan details in the grid view control Samantha that's it